If you really pay attention to the song, still that way. Like I'm telling people, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I don't. I'm, I done grew, I got a lot of accolades, you know what I'm saying, I'm grown as a man, but you know, I'm still, I'm still Eastside Johnny, you know what I'm saying, I'm still, you know what I mean, I'm still that, you know, the, one of them ones, you know what I mean, but on the, on the, on the, on the growing side, so, you know what I mean, so, I, like I said, I've grown a lot, you know what I mean, for those who, who know me, know if I've grown a lot. Like I said, when my accident I had uh, a few years ago, so I got rides, I got a ride in this leg. For me, uh, man, I'll be right here probably terrorizing some stuff, <laughs> trying to get in, sneaking through the back and all that, but no, nah, I mean, the younger me, just, I'm gonna be, I I, I, a younger me would have been just soaking up game and looking because, like I said, I had big homies before me that that uh, came here and do, did the same thing before I did. Like, as far as my uh, shout out to OFTB, you know what I mean? They was one of the first big homies who had records back in the days with Death Row and stuff like that and that nature. And I can remember them doing big videos and having the whole community come out and they come back and give back too. So that I, I, that's where I got my game from too, watching them coming up in the game when I was a young kid too. So, I mean, that's I, I, it's just for me just watching that as a young kid, just the younger version of me, I'll be right here soaking up game. Like, man, I can't wait to get there. You know what I mean? So, yeah, of course, that's a good look. Screws right here. I just tore my ACL not too long ago, so they had to do surgery right there. Yeah. We just celebrated, you know, 50 years of hip hop in August. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, the entire year we've been celebrating. Yeah, yeah. As we've seen it progress, and as we've seen just like the cultural impact that hip hop has had, how do you hope that hip hop and rap essentially will impact the political and social climate that? Oh uh, yeah, I, I hope it do because, like I say, back in the days, you know, I can remember uh, growing up. It was already, it, it was always political records. Dudes like Carol West One and all, you know, what I mean, those guys used to always do political records and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's if, to me, I feel like it's coming back around. Like you got dudes like J Cole that's spitting and, and talking. You know what I mean? And I think that uh, that 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 is coming back around as far as musically. And then you are gonna hear it in some of my music too. So, I mean, I, I feel like it's uh, yeah, it's 50 years, and I feel like that wave is coming back. You know what I mean? We all know everybody got the trap music, the you know what I mean, the you know what I mean, the party music. And you know what I mean, and all that. But I feel like that, you know, that real, real rap and that real hip hop music is, is coming right back around. I know, I know, a lot of people kind of feel some type of way about the 50 years of hip hop, and a lot of people feeling like it ain't hip hop. And we, should, you know, a lot of older OGs, they feel like you should name it something else. But I mean, you know, hip hop is hip hop, man. It's the culture, and I feel like it's really coming back around. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm excited. My last, last question for mm -hmm. you is, what was the Oh man, it's a few records. Uh, like I said, like everybody know this. Uh, what's funny is that, like I said, I always, a lot of people don't know this, uh, but I, I mean, I, I think I said it to a few people. See, a lot of people don't know I was a producer before I was rapping, you know what I mean? I made beats before I was rapping. I didn't I didn't know how to rap, I just knew how to play instruments and stuff. And I used to make beats for like, produce for all my homies that's around the neighborhood and stuff. But until they heard my voice, and they was like, man, you should rap, man. You got a distinctive voice. So I just stuck with it. But uh. Uh, I guess uh, the first record that really made me really want to rap was uh, Busta Rhymes. You know what I'm saying? When Busta Rhymes did that one record, uh, 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 Put Your Hands With My Eyes and See, Hit You With No Delands, What You Saying, yo, it was just, when I heard that flow, I was like, man, I want to do that. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, you know, that was that flow. I ain't never heard nothing like that before, so I was just like, man, and that's how I used to rap. I used to always try to ride the beat and stay on beat and ride the uh, track, so shout out to Busta Rhymes for sure. He motivated me to pursue this rap for sure, for sure.